Hello, uh, what we've got here is start some revision and uh, the first topic of year 10 was congruent similarity and enlargement. So let's have a look at these questions. So first of all, complete the sentences triangle A is congruent to triangle whatever. The word congruent means exactly the same. So when I look here, A is exactly the same as C. It doesn't matter that it's been re rotated or reflected or anything like that. It's two by three, so congruent A and C are congruent. Now, triangle, triangle A is similar to triangle um, something else. Now, similarity involves some form of scale factor. So when I'm uh, looking at this, so if I look at A, um, I look at its dimensions, so how big it is. And it is too high by three. It doesn't matter whether the other shapes are too, as long as it's got um, a scale factor. So if I look at B, um, this is four by six. And what I can see is that the two goes to the four by multiplying by two. The three goes to the six by multiplying by two. So essentially A and B are similar because they have the same scale factor to the sides. It doesn't matter on their um, orientation, i.e. which way around they are. So, in fact, this one is, in fact, B. Uh, next question, enlarge the shape by scale factor 2. When I do these, I look at the size of it. It's 2 across. It's 3 up. It's 1 here, 1 here, 2 here, and 1 here. So essentially, I've got to multiply every side by 2. And I do this freehand. The bottom shape, the bottom line, is now going 4 across. The 1 up here is going 6 up. The 1 at the top is going 2 across. Going down, I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4. Going across, I go 2. Going down, I go two. And it doesn't tell me about a centre enlargement, so I can draw that wherever I like. And as long as every side has been times by two, I'm good. That's that one. Right, match the diagram to the name. Um, this, this one here at the top, when we have this uh, line going through, which is called the transversal, when the angles... Um, are basically the same and they're either side of the line that is alternate so that one there is an old our alternate angles when i um, look at the angles inside they are often called allied angles or can be called co-interior so these are the co-interior angles and uh, the corresponding angles are when we have that transversal line going through the parallels. And both of them are on the same side in basically corresponding positions. So that is corresponding. Great.